Thank you. This is how I usually tell my story. I perform it. You just heard Violin Passionata, one of my crossover compositions. It sums up my story pretty well. I started as a hopeful classical light in the darkness. I crossed over an ocean of beats and melodies. And I ended up on TEDx in front of you. Now, I've got a broad palette of compositions. Party, chill, lounge, romantic, cinematic, dramatic. I could easily elaborate on my story musically. But TEDx asked me to talk to you. You've got three minutes to tell your story. They added casually. Now, I've, I got quite a shock, not just about the talking bit. Three minutes, I thought, my story. 30 years of career development. Toys, boys, tools, schools, rules, breaking rules, university, diversity, pregnancy, emergency, twins, sensation, PlayStation, agitation, hibernation, transition, ambition, composition, intermission. Forget it. I want to tell you something really important instead. Time's too precious to talk about myself. Right now, the world clock is ticking, and we are creating peace or war, chaos or harmony on this planet. And you thought you were just listening to a nice piece of music to digest your conference dinner? <laughs> yes. Yes, you did. But you did a lot more than that. You are listening to yourself, listening to the music. You are listening to the other people listening to the music. And you are listening to the other people listening to you listening to the music. And that's not all. You are listening to the sounds of this room, this building, the city, the continent, the Milky Way. You may not have been aware of all this at the same time. After all, our conscious awareness covers only a small percentage of our so-called reality perception. In fact, we are hardly aware of anything at all. And it gets even better. You actually don't exist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the way you think you do. Ask Einstein. At the root of all matter, there's no thing, nothing, just energy. All this energy. We are energy, and we are contributing, knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, to a gigantic field of vibrational energy every split second of our lives. Now think about it for a split second. What a responsibility. When I realized this, I quit going for a PhD, and I immediately started tuning my violin. All musical instruments need tuning to create a harmonious symphony together. And likewise, if we want to progress into a harmonious future together, we need to tune our instruments and not just our violins. We need to tune ourselves. We are vibration. And the good news is everything that vibrates can be tuned. Now, there are several ways to do this, several techniques, but one of the most powerful transformational tools to assist us in this process is sound, is music. Music moves mountains, it breaks the ice, it heals. Just type it into your search engine, you'll find lots of research Music creates miracles. It goes a lot further than Mozart makes smarter. Music inspires, music empowers, music energizes. And this is what I'm aiming to do with my tuning workshops, with my uh, project Violence Beat Violence, with my tailored compositions and performances, and with my keynote concerts. Music is the medicine of the future. 
Let's tune ourselves and we tune the world. Let's be the inspiring contribution to a peaceful progression into a beautiful, harmonious future symphony of mankind. What lies behind us and what lies before us is nothing compared to what lies within us. This is my work. I love it. Thank you. We are the stars. Our light is reaching far. Zoom.